السلام علیکم مائی نیم از تیمور سکندر اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو انادر پارٹ آف دا فائر بیس سیریز اور دا سٹی گارڈ اپلیکیشن سیریز ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریٹریو دا ڈیٹا فرام فائر بیس یوزنگ لاگ ان اینڈ بیفور دیٹ وی ول چیک دیٹ اف دس یوزر ایگزٹ اور ناٹ سو لیٹس رن اوور اپلیکیشن سو دس از فلیش اسکرین دین وی ہیو اے ڈیش بورڈ اف یو وانٹ ٹو کریٹ اینی آف دا ڈیزائن یو کین گو اینڈ چیک دا لنک ان دا ڈسکرپشن سو کلک آن دس پلس آئیکن اینڈ گو ٹو دا لاگ ان نو یو کین سی country code picker automatically detects uh, my current country or the current location and now we need to define the phone number uh, in the previous tutorials you can see we were creating that a zero should not be at the start so this was an error but in this tutorial we are going to remove that first zero or we will trim that first zero if entered by the user and then click on uh, we need to add some wrong password this is a progress bar working make sure you have an active internet and you can see password does not match this means that this phone number is inside the database let's put wrong phone number and click login you can see no such user exists this time it is not going to detect any user so let's remove the zero from the start and add without zero you can see password does not match this means that phone number exists okay now let's add a valid phone number and password click login and you can see we get all the fields in the toast message so this is what we are going to create so let's get started with the current tutorial okay so open android studio and we are inside the login screen in which we are going to perform the firebase operations so the first thing we need to do is we need to assign ids to all these three fields the first one is login country code picker and then we have login underscore phone number and then we have login underscore password so when the user is going to click on this login button which is let the user login id and in on its on click method uh, we are calling a function which is again let the user logged in so let's go back to login file and in here you can see this function will be executed when the user click on the on click uh, before going in uh, let's just create some variables with the country code picker and two fields with the phone number and password if you don't know what is this this is a progress bar we created in the previous tutorial okay after that we have created hooks and when the user is going to click on this button uh, or the login button we will first validate the fields using uh, by calling this function we already created a validation tutorial so you can go and check that okay now we are here and we need to get data so let's create some local strings the first will be phone number is equal to phone number dot get edit text if you are not using the material design you don't have to write get edit text you just have to write dot get text but for the material design you have to go for get edit text dot get text dot to string and again remember to trim this to remove the spaces control plus t to duplicate and change this phone number to Okay now we have phone number and password uh, we need to create a complete phone number so for that complete phone number will be equal to plus sign we are adding this plus by using string then a concatenation plus after that we need to write country code picker dot get full number So this full number basically will return only the country code like 9192 nothing else. So we have added plus then country code again this is a concatenation and now we need to pass the phone number entered by the user. And before this you can add another check which is a quick check like if phone number dot character at 0 is equal to 0 Uh, by this i mean if user entered 0 at the start uh, you can just trim it so by this if i mean if there is some 0 or user entered 0 at the start uh, you don't have to generate an error again to ask the user that you cannot enter 0 at the start but instead you can simply trim that first 0 and let the user not know anything about it then we will again just simply store the phone number again in phone number is equal to phone number dot substring and inside you can see we have two options begin index and end index 
so we will just add the first index this means from 1 to onward everything will be stored here but the 0 will be removed okay now as you can see we have all the fields we get all the data and now we want to perform a database query in here the first thing we need to create is a query and it should be firebase or database query is equal to check user is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference in here we will pass users I'll explain uh, I'll explain everything to you and then we need to create order by child and we are going to order it by phone number dot equal to the phone number entered by the no not this one but a complete phone number okay to understand this uh, let's go back to the browser okay so we are inside the database and uh, you can see we have two users inside this database uh, reference which is users and uh, this one is the root node or the top node of firebase database and then we have references of this root node so this is basically a reference and then inside this reference we have bunch of record or the nodes for this record this is a reference so head back to here and now you can see we have a firebase database dot get instance instance is basically a root node and then we are creating a reference which is users make sure it should be same and then order by child we are ordering it uh, by the key node which is phone number most of the time in my previous videos people are storing data with the username at the top and then they are trying to fetch the data using phone number so again it should be capital exactly same as you have stored inside the firebase this should be exactly same otherwise you will get null object reference or something error like that so once we have the query we will write check user dot add listener for single value event simply click on this new value event listener and you just have to click ok for the first one it will override the two functions on data chain and on data cancelled so if you can say where something is going wrong with the data we will simply generate an error message and it is going to be database error dot get message that's it and if we receive the data we will first check if data snapshot dot exist this means that some data has arrived in here in this data snapshot if the data exists that means that uh, we don't have to deal anything error with the phone number so we will simply write phone number dot set error and pass null in it and again duplicate set error enabled again it should be false so what we have done is we get the phone number the user entered phone number is matched with the phone number in the database so if there is any error on the phone number we removed that if there is error space okay now we need to get the password from the system against that specific user system password or password from system is equal to all the data of that specific user against of this specific user is now inside the data snapshot and data snapshot contain all this data so we will query like this data snapshot dot dot child now data snapshot basically contains all the data of the users now we are saying that okay uh, not go to all the users but go to the specific user which is this phone number exists in our database so we will ask the system to go directly to this node and insert this node again go to the child and search for the you can say a column or a line which is password we basically dot get value and inside we can pass because we are storing it in the string so string dot class and that's it we have a password inside here so we will simply write if system password dot equals the password entered by the user which is underscore password which is this one we get from the field if they are equal again we need to remove any error in here which is for the password now we have a password this means that user is on a right node and again we have created in the previous tutorial uh, progress bar so when we validate the fields we will simply set 
the progress bar dot set visibility it should be capital view dot visible so progress bar dot set visibility view dot visible it will be visible but if in case we start getting errors like this one we will remove that visibility progress bar dot set visibility to gone in this error if data snapshot does not exist progress bar dot set visibility to gone and again we need to show a message this time it should be a regular message data does not exist copy it or let's just copy the whole else inside if password does not match no such user exist okay so this was for the user because we were checking for the phone number and or you can set the there is no such phone number exist and after the password check you can set there is no such password press alt control l to align the code okay now if the password exist so now in here we can simply move toward the next screen or fetch all the data of the specific user like this string full name is equal to data snapshot or just copy this line uh, we used for the password in here you can simply say data snapshot dot child go to the specific phone number and get its just make sure that you use the same exact spellings so full name with n capital right And now you can see we have all the fields or the few fields just for the demonstration in the next tutorial we are going to first create shared preferences or you can say a session and we will store all this data to a session and each time we will check if the session is already created that means the user is logged in and we will not going to ask the user again for the login for now let's just create a toast message and this toast is just contain all the names So by this way we can add next line slash n in double quotes. You just have to add the plus sign which is concatenation and then in the double quotes you can add slash n to move to the next screen or the next line. So we have created a toast message. In here this means that all the data has been arrived and in here if there is some error we will receive that messages as well. Okay, so that's it. Uh, let's run our application. And before running, uh, we have an error here, which is basically not zero. As this is a character, so we have to make sure that zero is inside the single quotes. This means that it is a character sign. So now it is going to work without these character signs. Uh, it might give an error, but uh, you guys can give it a try. So let's run our application. Okay, so our application is running and we are inside the dashboard click on this plus icon and now go to the login sign and inside we you can see the progress bar is currently not working and make sure you have an active internet connection to perform all this so let's add a valid phone number uh, with zero let's try it with zero and let's click login it is saying there's no VMT progress bar is working and you can see password does not match this means that phone number is working let's add some wrong phone number and click login no such user exist so you can see the uh, zero is working so let's add let's remove the zero and password does not match again without zero our phone number is working very fine so let's add a success case which is a uh, right phone number click login and you can see the data has arrived with all the four values so that's it for this video if you learn something new please like the video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe it thank you for watching take care allah hafiz